Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can get started with Zuhu One. So now let's get into it. First of all you need to create your own account from Get Started or you can just go and sign in an existing account. Here I will just go and use Google to sign in and I'm gonna pick my account then we will be all ready to go. I will just skip this for now. And this is how your Zoho One will look like. So basically to start working uh, on Zoho One, you need to know the idea of the website itself. Zoho, as you know, has many websites and many uh, in integrated applications. So Zoho One is, was created to just gather all these applications in one panel or in one platform. So basically Zoho will help you to get all your applications in just one platform. So it's basically an all-in-one website. So in order to start using Zoho, you need first to create a dashboard, which I created before, and it's called Tutorial. You can also go and create your own new dashboard by clicking on here. Then you will be able to name it and add the widgets you want. Now I will just cancel this and I will work on the dashboard I have created before. Before being able to work on your own dashboard, you have to add the applications that you want to integrate between each other. This is done by going to your left menu and click on more apps. Then you will have all the unassigned apps here that you can integrate between each other. You can also search on your applications from this search bar. So now let's navigate and check some of these applications. So I may use CRM. And I will click on add now. And now it has been added. You can check if it has been added or not from the left menu. You will find that it has been added to your own left menu. So we can just go and integrate other apps like let's go and add notebook for example. I will click on add. I will choose this account and I will press next. Yes, add. I will just add a final application, then we can start working. I will go to unassigned apps once more, and I will choose Zoho Mail, and I will press on add, set up Zoho Mail. I think it, it requires a lot of steps. It requires a domain verification, so I will just use another I will go to more apps and unassigned apps then I will use let's choose Zoho bookings and I will add okay I didn't create an account on Zoho bookings I will search on other Okay, I may use Zoho Invoice. Okay, create account. And now we need to set up our account. I will just confirm this data and I will press get started. Perfect. Now let's go back to our homepage. Here you can see that you have all your applications here, all what you need to do is to just navigate between them and you will be able to access them all. By going to invoice, here you have transmitted to invoice, going to notebook and so on and so forth. So you don't have to get out of notebook of, of uh, Zoho One uh, and go to notebook or to go to CRM. You can just do the same from only one platform. You All what you just need to do is to go to your own list menu and navigate between them all. So now let's return back to our dashboard. Here you can add widgets. So let's go and press on add widgets and here you can see all the widgets that you can add. The more applications you add here, the more widgets will be available for you to add to your own dashboard. So I will just add my meeting here. 
upcoming events and I will add maybe all contact and all deals perfect so by pressing on save here you will find that you have added to your own dashboard features from the applications that you have added before which are related to Zoho so here you can access on all of them easily so basically it provides a very easy and efficient way for you to transfer between different Zoho apps so instead of just going to another tabs and sign up for every platform you can access them from here from this left menu or you can just access specific features in each application from your own dashboard using widgets you can also go to the, uh, to your own calendar here where you can adjust events so um, let's say I want to create an event for this this month I can go here and just click on the day I want and I will be able to add the event details like event title its appointment I can also invite others I can add a location and I can I can add a conference uh, and once I'm done I can press on save and the event will be saved successfully perfect you can also visit the to do here where you can um, add tasks to your own agenda so you can choose between board view and list view I prefer board, board view you can add any task and you can um, just um, decide whether it's delayed it's today it's this week or this month you can also uh, adjust your own view whether you want an agenda view created by me assigned to me shared with me personal tasks and unified view So as I mentioned before, Zoho One provides two easy ways for you to access different platforms, which are the left menu and your own dashboard. However, there is a third way that you can navigate across different Zoho platforms. This is called the, Z the Zia Search. By clicking on it, you will find that it's a Chrome extension. So you can go there and you can install this extension by clicking on Add to Chrome, then Add Extension and wait for it to load. Now it's downloading. I will just wait for it for a couple of seconds so that it will finalize its setup. And once it's done, I can test it. So by going back to your own one dashboard, you can now access your extensions and click on Zia search and a pop-up menu will appear in front of you. So here you can also transfer between different apps like CRM, invoice, notebook, and any more apps that you install on your Zoho One platform. And this is how easy you can use Zoho One to transfer between different Zoho platforms. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.